and to the serenity of any setting with the soothing sounds of a fountain you make yourself. So this fountain is basically just a base, a ball, and a pump. And the pillar base and the ball are both made from concrete. To pour the pillar, place a bucket upside down on your work surface, lodge a piece of PVC right into the center, and place the form over the bucket. Fill the form, making sure your PVC stays centered. The bucket will create a void in the bottom of the pillar to house the pump for the fountain, and the PVC will provide a path to feed the tubing up for the fountain. So that's the base. The form for the ball is just a light fixture globe. Spray the inside with cooking spray so you can get a clean release. Then fill the globe all the way up to the base. This gives the ball a flat surface so it will sit nicely on the pillar. So just like you did with the pillar, you need to create a path through the ball. Use another piece of the PVC with the end taped off. Push it all the way down into the other end of the globe and use some tape to hold it in place. This is a lot easier than trying to drill through the ball later. So now that the base and ball are dry, you can release them from their forms. You can just tear or cut away the casing on the pillar, but you need to be more careful with the globe. Wrap it in some heavy duty plastic, wear gloves and eye protection, and then tack the globe so it shatters into the plastic for a safe, quick cleanup. Now you can use a flexible multi-saw like this to trim away the excess PVC on both pieces. And the last thing we need to do is clear out the other end of this tube. To do that, we're gonna use a dowel. And then you can pull away if there's any extra tape. All right. Now you're ready to assemble the fountain. Prep a hole and place a pan like this in it so the lip is flush with the ground. Put a layer of river rock in the pan. Place the pump on it and then surround the pump with more rock. With the pillar on its side, feed the tubing up through the PVC. Then tip the pillar into place over the pump. Now, feed the tubing up through the ball so you can gauge the length before you trim it back. You want the tubing to come almost all the way to the top of the ball. Now you're gonna seal this with a little silicone and add your ball. How simple is that? Once that's dry, finish filling in with rock, fill the pan with water, and turn on your fountain. For the detailed directions, go to lowes.com slash LCI hyphen globe fountain.